guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I am going to be using the Amrezy palette. I've been so excited to use this palette. I haven't touched it, swatched it, or anything until today. I bought this for myself for my birthday. I treated myself to a little Ulta haul. I bought myself this palette. I also bought the James Charles palette because like I mentioned, I want to do some colorful looks for you guys. I had never used an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette before. This is the first time. I don't like purchasing so many eyeshadow palettes because I feel like I'll have so many of the same type of colors. I only like to buy an eyeshadow palette if I really think it's something different that I want to add to my collection. And when I saw this, I was like, yes, I need you, I want you, you are going to be mine because I love pink, I love wearing pink. I just like how it looks, I think it's flattering. And I love that you can do colorful looks with this, but also neutrals. So next week I'm thinking of doing a neutral look for you guys, maybe a Valentine's Day look. So stay tuned for that video. So this is the look that I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy it and please continue to watch. So I think I'm going to start off with my face makeup. I am just trusting that the eyeshadow palette doesn't have that much fallout. Then I will zoom you guys in and we'll do the eyes. So I did my eyebrows off camera. I use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Brunette and then I uh, conceal around with this Ulta Correct and Conceal Fair to Light palette. And I use the middle color here which is Light Warm. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my trusty Maybelline Fit Me Ink. color is 128 Warm Nude. This is my more wintry shade when I don't really have a tan on. You guys know I love myself some drugstore makeup and this is one of my holy grails. I'm getting a tiny bit more foundation and I'm just going to dot it. Since I already did my brows, I don't want to ruin them. Also in the creases of my nostrils. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color Light. A little bit on the chin and I'll put a little bit on the forehead later. I apply a little bit of concealer onto my lids to cancel out any color and darkness and this will be the base for my eyeshadows. I don't like applying too much to my forehead. Again, I'm being really careful with my brows. Okay, I'm gonna use this dual fiber BH Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna use this sleek makeup cream contour kit in the color medium. And using this shade down here, I'm gonna pick some of that up. If you're a beginner at cream contouring, I think this is the best way to do it so that you don't apply too much at one time. Use a dual fiber brush and blend and apply as you go so that way you can slowly be building it up. Now that I'm done with all my cream products, I am going to set it all. I'm going to start off with another Maybelline product. I love Maybelline. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Fair Light Powder. I'm going to put some into the cap and pick it up with my sponge. And I put that in between the creases of my nostrils because I have deep creases here. And I don't like when the foundation uh, breaks up there or builds up in there. Then apply a little to my chin. And I like applying it right here too where I get smile lines. Again, so that my foundation doesn't break up. And then a tiny bit right here. Then I use the same narrow end of my sponge pick up powder. Stamp it on the bridge of my nose. I don't like to leave my chin and forehead bake for too long, so I dust it off right away. Whatever powder is on my brush at this point, I dust over my eyes like this 
to set the concealer so that it doesn't crease up and now I am ready for eyeshadow. Okay, so we are zoomed in and like I said, I know I'm looking crazy, dusty and all that with all this powder on my face, but it's okay. There's a lot of steps to makeup and some of them are not pretty. Okay, as long as the final product is pretty, it doesn't matter how you get there. This color right here is calling my name. Oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, I really, really like that color. Wow, that really does look like a barb, like a Barbie pink. It has like some iridescence to it. That is super pretty. I'm going to start off with the color OG. So right here in my crease and above my crease. Now I'm going to move on to a smaller brush. So I'm going to use a Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to pick up the color Reezy. I'm going to apply this right in my crease here. Stamping it on first to place color. Do the other side? That way. This one? That. Okay. Giselle's telling me what to do. She says I need pink on this eye, right? Going in with the previous brush, no additional product. I'm going to carefully blend the edges so that both colors like mix together. You know what? I'm gonna go in with concealer. The same concealer. This is a flat brush. I don't know where this. I, I think this brush is from the Dollar Tree, to be honest. I don't know. It's flat. It's like a flat shader, or like a concealer brush. Now go in with Wasted over top. Just applying a tiny bit more pink right above that, right here in the inner corners of the crease. So I just cleaned off the same um, shader brush and now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Semsa. Okay, so I'm stamping this color onto the lid in the outer corners and overlapping it oh, um, a little bit with Wasted. I'm blending the two colors together by just moving my brush side to side like this. This is a Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending. I'm gonna go back into Reezy, go right here into, I'm gonna blend the color Semsa and Reezy. Bringing that in a little bit to darken up the color, deepen it. I'm just going to lightly dust it all over Semsa just to give it a bit more of a pink tinge instead of purple. I'm going to take a little bit of Anastasia and I'm going to stamp that right where Semsa and Wasted meet. I'm using Ico London Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I just applied mascara. I used my Maybelline Falsies Black Drama. 
and now I'm ready for some eyelashes and my little lashes are on I think these are super cute fluffy fun little bushes okay so we're gonna finish off the face when I dust away my baking powder I like to like sweep it gently across my whole face so that the excess powder can just set the rest of my face and this is another dual fiber like stippling brush from BH. I'm going to use my Maybelline City Bronzer in the color 200. And with a Luxie 514 blush brush, I'm going to use this to bronze my face. Now I'm going to go in with Morphe Debutante Bronzer and this is a Luxie 1010 Small Contour Brush. This is going to be for my contour. I like to bronze my forehead a lot because it's a big. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my other, with my previous bronzer brush to kind of blend it. Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Kisses. It's a pink, kind of shimmery color. Got this in my Ipsy bag. Okay, so now for highlight, I'm going to go with my ABH Amrezy highlight, of course. Now mine went through a tragic accident. I tried to save her. As you can see, she is severely hurt, but she survived. So I am always very careful with this. <laughs> I'm going to use a Morphe M510 brush and apply this to the high points of my face. This is my favorite highlighter of all time. I use this almost every time that I do my makeup. I just think it's perfect for like my complexion. It's like a perfect color for me. I'm gonna go a little bit extra today just cause I know Amrezy goes really extra on her highlight. It's a Wet n Wild concealer brush but I love using this for powder products because it picks up the color so nicely and I'm going to apply this right underneath my brow to highlight it. I'm going to go into Razy. Now I'm going to apply Barb in my inner corner. Oh my god, it's so pretty. love it. Look at how intense that looks. I love this color. I need to put this all over my lid one day. I'm going to apply a tiny bit of mascara to my bottom lash line. Then uh, pick out a lip color and we are done. We're going to set our face with a Morphe Continuous Spray. So I'm going to use this um, Lord and Berry Lip Crayon. This is in the color Intimacy. Okay, so I use that lip crayon all over my lip. Going with this color Pop Gloss in the color Neat Freak. So I decided to switch out my lip because I felt like the other one was just taking away attention from the eyes. This is Honeymoon by NYX. I'm going to put this LA Girl uh, Plumping Gloss in the color Plush. I just wanted something more nude, more muted out. 
and I think this is better. So this is the final look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Gabdel2, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!